Hey everybody, Trevor here, Triple T Archery. Um, so this is video two of the Hilljack uh, ASL experiment. I bought this bow uh, on May 8th, I believe. Uh, I'm gonna be shooting it at the TAS Worlds at the end of the month. So uh, this video is video two of me learning the bow, setting up the bow, tuning some arrows for the bow, and uh, you know, trying to essentially get it ready to shoot in about three weeks for the tournament. So I am pretty new to ASLs. I've owned them in the past, um, but for whatever reason, I bought them and I played with them just a little bit, like in the basement, and uh, just never, never really got them out and truly gave them like a full effort. So this is kind of the first one that I've done that with um, that I'm actually going to take to a shoot and use. So uh, yeah, this is 47 at 28, uh, 66 inch. So I draw about 27, uh, just a hair under 27. So I'm pulling about 44 and a half, 45 pounds with this. Uh, so this video is about tuning. And the thing with an ASL is they're not very center cut. So I'm gonna try to show you here. When you knock an arrow on these things, if you align the string with the bow, you'll see that the arrow sticks way out to the side, right? It's not, not on the string line. That's, that's not really a true representation. That's kind of a weird camera trick there, but, but it does stick way out to the side, okay? So uh, the deal with that is you've got to have a slightly, well, in theory, a slightly weaker arrow in order to bend around. You gotta bend around the riser, right? Um, but here's here's the thing. So these bows are very lightweight, and when you shoot them, they kind of they kind of jump in your hand. You gotta kind of hold on to it. And for whatever reason, that seems to create a situation where uh, it needs a little stiffer arrow than I expected. So I started out with these. Uh, being that this is about 44 and a half pounds, let's say at my draw, uh, I started out with some 40 45s thinking, you know, I actually went under my draw weight and typically I'm five to 10 over with normal longbows. And I thought, well, okay, I'm going to try a really weak arrow in first. And I got those trimmed all the way down to 29 inches. They were still weak. So scrap that tried some 45 50s mixed results. Uh, I got out, this is actually the first set of arrows I ever made and uh, I never shot them. I just kind of made them and I've been looking at them for a while and they're they're 50 55s Most of these are 52 53 pound spine and So they actually seem to fly pretty good. They're 29 and 3 quarter uh, From the deepest part of the knock to the back of the point and I got 125 top hats on there um, So but what I want to show you is my tuning procedure So when you have all your arrows fletched up, you don't have a bear shaft and then some people say, you know I ah, don't use bear shafts with wood, whatever. I'm gonna show you a really quick tuning method to make sure that you can get your bow uh, tuned quickly um, So what I do is I'm gonna take you up here to target So what I do is I try to get a target this is my spider I try to get a target that's really close uh, to like chest height. I don't like to shoot down because that can lower your draw length or cause other draw length issues. And I shoot at a very close range, like three or four steps back. That's where I start. And I shoot into the target. And I look to see which way my knock is staring back at me. So if my arrow impacts in the target and the knock is, is out this way for a right-handed shooter, that's stiff. Uh, and then if it's to the left of me, that's weak, and if it's right down the center, then I know my tune is at least close at this distance, right? So I need to back up. Now, I tell you a place where you really start to see where wood arrows are doing whatever it is they're doing, and that's at seven paces. So let's do that. Let's take seven paces together. Uh, I don't know what it is about seven paces. I'm 5'8", so you may only need six paces, but I need seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I'm gonna set you here and you're looking at a spider there. And I'm gonna take a shot, and I'm gonna try to make this my normal shot, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I don't know about your perspective, but from my perspective, uh, that arrow 
is the first thing I look for is knock height. So even though the camera is at a weird angle, this is about, I'm gonna try to adjust it to show you where I see, what I see. Uh, I mean, I couldn't see, so I'm not gonna get this camera angle perfect, but I couldn't see the left or the right side of the shaft, the top or the bottom of the shaft. All I could see is this knock staring right back at me. So these arrows are actually tuned uh, pretty much absolutely perfect for me. And uh, you know, that's great. So that's a great uh, place to start. So from there, what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna show you a shot where I, uh, I'm gonna short draw it a little and I'm gonna kind of show you the angle uh, of that and show you how the arrow kicks. And I don't think I'll be able to extend far enough to make this arrow weak, but let's do a, let's do a stiff one real quick. I'm gonna back you up here again. And uh, I'm actually gonna go pull this arrow and it's starting to rain. So I'm gonna be as quick as possible here. So let's see what happens. course we'd have to have a little rain right wouldn't wouldn't be a good video without some rain so I'm gonna short draw and we'll see what happens here okay so that wasn't the expected result um, but that's the deal with these ASLs sometimes you don't get the expected result so I'm with a short draw I think what happened is I made the arrow so stiff that I short drawed a little too much. Uh, it actually bounced off the shelf and it caused me some, uh, it bounced off the side plate and it caused me some wear here. So you have to watch that. So when you're getting fa these false reads, you need to start out your tuning with a real weak, uh, soft piece of felt on the side so you can get good indicators of what's going on. So I actually made that arrow so stiff that it bounced off the shelf and then it looks like it's actually perfectly tuned, but it's really kind of very stiff because of the wear I'm seeing here. So uh, I don't know if you can see that in the video, but there's some wear on that shelf. Okay, uh, side plate, I mean, not not the shelf, the side, it's wear on the side plate. So that's what happened. Uh, the arrow actually kind of looks like, if I could show you my perspective, the arrow kind of looks like actually like it's weak, but what really happened was because it bounced so hard off that side plate, it, it's the false weak. So you have to be careful of that. And the only thing I can tell you uh, that you can do in order to eliminate these false weaks is to just do exactly what I just did. You need to shoot at multiple distances. You need to shoot, um, you need to short draw a little you need to try to overextend a little and see if you can get on either side of the tune just to prove that it truly is one way or the other. Um, and and you may also try, you can try tricks like putting some quick silencers on your string. That should stiffen the arrow up. So just sort of prove it. If you think you got your arrow properly tuned, okay, stick some silencers on there. You should start hitting, if you're right-handed, you should start hitting to the left because your arrow is going to go stiff, right? Um, you know, take silencers off, see if the arrow shows up weak, uh, if you already have silencers. Or you can do stuff like change your brace height. If you lower your brace height, you should get a little bit of a stiff reading, raise your brace height, a little bit of a weak reading, just to prove that you're not getting a false reading, right? So that's what I did. Um, and this process does not take very long because once I've got it at that, at that seven paces, the next thing I do is step back to like a max distance, like a 25 yard shot, and I will shoot uh, for accuracy. If my arrows are just slightly left or slightly right, then I know I still got a little tuning to do, but if they impact where I'm aiming, then, then I know everything's good. So that's basically what I do. Um, it's a real simple process, nothing more to it. Uh, so I'm going to keep going with this ASL. Uh, I think I got these arrows tuned. Now I just got to learn to shoot this thing. Uh, one tip I have learned is that with an ASL, you don't want to have a fully stretched out arm you need just a little bit of bend just that little bit so you have something to so you're pushing when you release you need to be pushing straight forward if you don't have that little bit of push in that bow arm these asls um, i mean one could be in the tin ring one could be in the neck one could be in the tail end of the animal so uh yeah you definitely want that little bit of give in your bow arm seems to help me with a much lighter and narrower grip uh, this is kind of a very mild dished so i'm really liking it but uh but yeah, it's a learning curve. So this is how I grip it. Um, and I'm canting at about one o'clock like normal. Uh, everything else is pretty much the same. So yeah.
that's the update um and the next video is probably just going to be about what i feel as far as like my accuracy potential um versus other bows and i'm not going to know that for a few more days until i shoot this a bit more so uh, we'll go from there catch you on the next video thanks